Hello and welcome to Tights TV. Uh, got a special guest on. Uh, I think we all know him as Granty, but it's uh, Craig. So, Craig, uh, pleasure you joining me, mate. I know we've got a few things to sort out, but uh, it's great having you on, mate. Yeah, cheers for having me, mate. Uh, so, I think, you know, people that are in Pontian will all know what crack is. Um, and we're going to talk about mocking game. We're not just going to make it a, you know, a, a finger pointing exercise, but I think there's a few things need to get sorted out and cleared up. But, I mean, Granted, I mean, loss at Exeter, we need to bounce back. We didn't want to do a Sheffield Wednesday and like, you know, lick us almost kind of thing and draw and go undefeated. I think going back, you know, thrashing, you know, Mark and five note, fully deserved, I think, in my in my take. Oh, definitely, yeah. Just a, another all-round team game, was not it? The dominated from start to finish, really. Everybody put the put their effort in, played till the 90th minute. And another goal at ninety third minute just to show that we we play till final whistle. Yeah, so so much been lacking. I mean, especially from last season. We all know up fast last season. I think this we can see like now, right from first to you know, like you said, the until final whistle goes, we are all in it is one. Um uh, and again, I'm just gonna bring it up, I'm gonna call it as it is. I mean, atmosphere, you know, we all knew how died it was last season, people not even turning up, mate. Um uh, Club have gone out to you know Julian, uh, Khalid and that join us at Ponty for yeah. full full respect to them. You know they put as I look at it, they could put the Senate fire in line and respect a few verbals. But you know you don't see that at many grounds, do you? Seeing people like that come and join at Ponty and or any no. bare grounds, Granty. No, definitely not. No, and um, when they did come in as well, they they walked up outside the where I sit as well. We had a conversation while they were walking around, mm. and they just said exactly what they want us to do they told me they want the atmosphere to go in get going as much as they can and i said well i'll help with that as much as i can like i like i try and do yeah. and uh, i think they enjoyed it so hopefully we'll see him in stand again in the future yeah i think they enjoyed it and all mate because i know on eve you know uh on sheffield wednesday game i went to the club shop to get a program uh when i finished work i thought get in sort of by that get on and oh we're in julianne and she shouted me from back at the shop. She went, will you be seeing Granty? Um, I went, I doubt it today because I know that Caelan were flag bearing on day. You know, yeah. I knew we were flag, you know, flag bearing. I said, so, it's un- I know, I don't think I will. She says, why is that? I've got a megaphone. And I know that, you know, some social media were like saying, but it's sent to be like a bit of a momentum going, mate. You know, get Granty a megaphone and it were one of them. And I think everybody behind you. It's like, yeah, do it. Let, let's go for it. And, you know. For some unknown reason, little some little little stewards decided to take it upon the sense to, well, stifle atmosphere. I, I I just don't understand reasons behind it. No, no, I think that's exactly what they did as well. Just uh, I wrote it along for Morgan game. I thought it's a gift from club. It's what uh, people's been asking for, so I'll bring it along again. It was alright to start with, and then all of a sudden, atmosphere just changed when. You had your stewards walking up and just not listening to anybody at all. Just, it's either their way or no way, really. That's yeah. how it came across. So, and then it obviously <laughs> it had a it, negative impact across people yeah. near me, people in, in stadium, to be honest. So, yeah, you could see it, mate. I mean, I sit more or less other side at Ponty and. But when something was going off, and obviously, you, you know, you're taking note, and you, you could tell, you could just tell, change the atmosphere altogether, it had gone. Um, and I just don't get it. I just don't understand it. When owner at club, I want, sorry, one of owners at club, not the owner, but one of owners at club come down, and they want to get this into atmosphere and get it going. We're trying his best, and I know there's flag bearers and that. Yeah, full, you know, we're getting that vibe there. But then to do something like that, and I'd get it with a steward, I said to you off air that they're coming in front of me, what are 14, 13, 14 year old last week, kind of pop. Stuart comes down with a plastic pot. Can you put it in? Got mentioned up. Well, there's another last at the side with it saying, oh no, it's a different size can. So if she's all right, I'm like, why are you nitpicking? That might have been the first time I've ever been to a game. I want to come back again. They've probably put them off because just because of Stuart's being overzealous for no reason for it. They won't yeah. causing any trouble. They won't. Chucking out or out like that, but they to have a good time. And for me, people like that, stewards like that, stifling it could potentially turn people away and think, ah, what's the point in going? 
Yeah, definitely. And that, that's how I see it as well. There's probably a lot of kids that sit around us and they see something like that happen and it startles them and why would they want to come again? Yeah. And especially Upsetting kids as well. They're, they're boundless future. I've, I've been going since I was a kid. Yeah. And my son has and hopefully he'll still be going when he's my age yeah. and older. So, But that's what Barnsley want. That's what we want. But when you're getting stewards like that, it's not going to happen. No, and that's the thing about it for me is that you've got to think of the future, you know. I mean, Julianne, she pulled me up. Um, I was walking down somewhere. I forgot where I was. I think she was walking to the fan zone or something. And she said, oh, uh, that young lad who you had on, is it your son? I mean, it's not my son, it's Caelan. It, you know, I said, it's, but that, this is the thing. It's like the future of the club is like what you said there. You want to embrace it and engage it and, and bring them through. But if you're seeing the actions and reasons, what's going off like that, it's like, do I really want to be there? I want to go elsewhere. And we've lost him. We've lost his his future at club, mate, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. You know, uh, and I, what I get, you know, with uh, odd away games that I do uh, able to attend for work and whatever, you go via and it seems to be, I don't know what your take on this, because you, I know you'll go home and away religious, you know. I go home, you know, obviously season uh, ticket holder with my son. But when you go away, and away games that I've been to, I don't see that other zealous at, at stewards. They, they, yeah, they watch you, but they don't come over every handed or they don't come over as like unapproachable. I don't know what your take on that is, granted, mate. No, I've, I've, obviously I've been to quite a lot of stadiums and mm. there's only minimum stadiums I've been to where you have got them other zealous uh, stewards, but majority of stadiums, do I've got a lot of stewards there, but unless you're causing a problem, you don't seem to mm. get a problem with them. Yeah, and that's it. We, we're not causing problems. We're trying to cause an atmosphere, create yeah. an atmosphere, yeah. sorry. And that's all it's about, creating an atmosphere. Because you haven't got that atmosphere. It was only a couple of months ago, you know, owners and that uh, were saying, what can we do to improve the atmosphere? What can we do? And we're trying to do it. And now we are trying to do it. you like getting pulled back on doing it. So it's like in one hand, that's other. Frustrating, yeah. mate. Frustrating. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we've had his say, you know, uh, on stuff like that. I don't know if you're able to, able to else to say. If you're not, we'll move on, mate. But I think we've just covered it about stewards being RBR. Yeah, basically. yeah. Well, you know. all I've got to say really is on on that matter what happened. If it were just one steward, maybe two stewards, as it was to start with, and they didn't come across so aggressive behaviour and actually listen to people, and it weren't just there we are nowhere. But then there were an extra. Nine, ten stewards as well came marching over as well, which yeah. I think that's when it starts to upset a lot of people, get people in hysterics, really, like like it did my son, and it just didn't yeah. want to be there. He had to go down to Concours out of way. Yeah. So one or two stewards have a nice, friendly word. It might it might change perspective on some people how they think about stewards. Yeah, good, good shout out about mate. Yeah, yeah the, you know, coming in mob handed all over a megaphone, creating atmosphere. You know, it's not as if you're doing all wrong, not in my eyes. And I think this vast majority of Barnsley fans were in Pontian, and not just Pontian, but in Eastern and Western, all could see it and all, mate. You know, you create atmosphere, you're well known, as in for right reasons, you know, life and soul. You try to get things going. And, you know, I think you'll find vast majority of Barnsley fans are straight behind you, mate, on that score. No worries on that. And like you say, upsetting for all concern, like, like you say, young uns and stuff like that. You know, it's don't, don't need it, mate. So, no. going on to the Burton game, I mean, it's going to be another hard game, I think. I think Burton will probably pull, prove a bit more different opposition. Although they're down there, we being at home, they could make it tricky for us, though, granted, mate. Yeah, I think uh, Burton, they're a, they're a tricky team at home. I've always known that, noticed that when they're playing at home, they're a different team than they are away. But... Uh, I reckon we will go there, and I think we'll get three points. Another good team mm. performance, but it'll a lot harder, a lot harder than it went on Saturday. I think. Yeah, I mean it's a sellout. You know, yeah. fair play to Barnsley fans. I mean, it's not you know Good Friday. Hope, hope it's going to be a good Friday for Barnsley, like. But I get where you're coming from, but I think Markham didn't really offer much. You know, it's second day. I think they like late on we've had it clipped post and he said it, it covered. But for me, Burton, I know I had a beige one knocking goals for him and then he uh, went off to Bolton. But for me, Burton is still one of them kind of sides, me, that 
you don't know what you're going to come up against. You know, it could be a draw specialist, if it could gear an upset. It, it, I think it's going to be down to us again. If we can start, like you touched on it earlier, start off from this minute and take it all the way through to the final whistle and make sure that we're, you know, we're giving them a game and taking game to them rather than them dictate play kind of thing, uh, Dante. Yeah, I think I think that's what we're going to have to do straight from start, straight up front foot. I've got a feeling it might be a little bit like a bit scrappy, like uh, when we played Wickham away, not best team performance, but we came out with three points, and I think that shows a good sign of a good team. If you can play not to your best and still come away with three points, then it's it's looking good. So hopefully a better performance, but get them grind them three points out. Yeah, grind three points out and come back and you know being even better Friday for us. Um, would you make any changes going into that, uh, Nancy? I probably won't now. I think at minute we're a winning team like that again from start. Obviously, play your best team, but mm. when you've got a winning team like that, it's not really put a foot wrong. Mm. So I wouldn't really change much. No, I'm saying we all. I, I was impressed with Luke Thomas and all that. He, he took ball to him, dribbled, and caused him a bit of havoc up, up in their final third, like Max Watters and all coming on. Because we've got that game, and then obviously Bank Holiday Monday, Shrewsbury, Tom. So it's two pretty quick games. Uh, but I'm with you on that. Uh, I said to Caleb earlier on, just keep it as it is. For me, they didn't do out wrong. It was nice to see that we changed three midfielders against Markham. Completely changed midfield, but we came on and we still we still gave them, give them a game. I think we've got a pretty strong bench and all now, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, it's looking a lot better that bench now. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's your score prediction, my mate? We'll land on this. I'm going to go for a two-one win. Two-one win. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, Caelan said three-one, and I agree with Caelan. Uh, if I said two-one, I'll be agreeing with you because I won't get braid up. But yeah, uh, I'm going to go three-one. Uh, I've put a bet on it as well because Caleb's predictions have been spot on lately. <laughs> have, you have. He's been yeah. telling me about it at all. <laughs> <laughs> telling me about it at all. Uh, I just think that, I think Burton may being at home, I think they'll have it in him uh, for a goal. But yeah. I'm looking at, you know, like you said, via a winning side, but also players what we've got coming off the bench, potentially such as Norwood, you know, uh, Ted H, Philip, Spencer, I think. It, it, it could be a game in second day if I said it's a bit scrappy. I think it could be a change, duff, change for second day if it could like be a key to that. Um, for making key subs, but going for we're both going for Barnsley wins, that's the main, main thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, people with subscribing, uh, please thank you very much because we just hit over 10,000 subscribers like now. So I appreciate all the Barnsley fans and all the fans from other channels and uh, uh clubs as well. Let, uh, leave his uh, your comments and all. Let us know your score predictions. Let us know about your tech on stewarding. Uh, what's it been like in your end if you've been at West or in East and let us know. Uh, like I say, this is mine and Grant's thoughts. There's been a lot of other people on social media discussing uh, every other uh, stewards. I know there's going to be a lot of meetings about going off. I'm on a Zoom call on that a bit later. But Granty, it's been a pleasure talking to you, mate, and giving uh, your tech on it. Um, really enjoyed chat and debate, mate. I really uh, like that. Appreciate it. Yeah. Cheers for getting me on, mate. Cheers. Uh, everybody what's watching, going to Burton, safe journey. Let's come back with three points. One thing left to say, come on, you Reds.